Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look at the Bitcoin market. So not really significant changes we have on the technical side. Um, on the monthly chart, you could see that price stands slightly below the 20 even area. It's previous top actually on the Bitcoin market, but still overall action within the three months stands above the recent lows. So that's why here we do not have a big changes and currently everybody, it's actually it becomes obvious for everybody that uh, 19 even uh, this is the major support for Bitcoin meantime. So on lower time frame, on the weekly chart, we have the same performance. And actually on the daily chart as well, as you can see, minor upward return here has happened as on the other markets. And as we have discussed recently in the gold video, this was two reasons for that pullback. And first of all, this is some misagreement in the, um, between the Fed mem members based on uh, Fed minutes that have been published because some members call for keeping uh, the pace of the rate hiking. Others tell that maybe it makes sense to decrease the rate uh, hiking pace. Others think that maybe it in general makes sense to stop and see what the impact on the economy will be and see how the statistics will change and so on. So Fed members seems have some doubts on uh, keeping this really hawkish policy and that provides some support to the financial markets this first moment second moment the results of the united states banks was not uh, well really perfect well some of them have shown good earnings reports such as the gp morgan city group others have shown not good reports morgan stanley and welsh fargo for instance and in general um, the community of uh, bankers have sent the signal to the Fed that if you will keep rate, rate hiking at such, at such a pace, we will meet the problems of the interest rate margin just because we need to finance our long term assets that generate low interest with the short term assets that currently are really valuable and we have to pay higher interest rate and keep uh, assets with the yields that significantly lower that we have to pay it right now to finance them. Second, we have to increase the provisions for possible defaults and the public debt and the corporate debt is because, as you know, this public is highly standing in loans in the United States to keep the same level of the consumption. And very soon as uh, soaring of these debts is becoming more expensive, very soon it's just become could be really too heavy burden and uh, many uh, consumer loans defaults could fall and banks have to increase the provisions for that. These two moments have changed and make impact on short-term sentiment and you can see the pullback has happened. But it seems that it was really short-term. If you'll take a look at the daily chart now, now what we have. Market has formed the bearish grubber on the daily chart and this grubber suggests the taking out of these lows. The former made grubber here actually has been completed as market right there. It's taken out of this top as you can see. So this grubber worked nice. And in general, overall performance, take a look, stands in the flag consolidation. It is potentially bearish because uh, bullish market usually shows the fast reversal and it's not forming some choppy consolidation. So um, that's why we think that, uh, well, chances on the downward continuation here looks more, um, just looks better actually than the reversal and upward acceleration unfortunately or maybe fortunately this week we do not have lots of statistics on the united states market mostly this is the real estate market reports uh, building starts house permits and so on but in general market looks a bit heavy yes we, we haven't got the breakout of the range that we discussed so market has dropped back to lows but in this moment by the way the fed means have been reported and you can see the upper direction happened back inside of the range but uh in the longer term perspective, will still suggest that it seems that downside action seems more probable. So with this grabber that we have on the daily chart, uh, potentially we 
well think that it might be something like this. So market could show a bit deeper retracement. So maybe it makes sense to consider 1960 fib resistance right there. Uh, if you would like to take the bet based on a daily grubber, it's bearish grubber. Where's the stops above this area? And if you if you have the bearish view, of course, uh, and then potentially watch what will happen. Uh, because near standing target might be this butterfly and this could happen in the breakout of the range that we have. Then next destination point might be 1650. As we said, this is a classical approach to estimation of the target of the breakout of the rectangle right there. By the way, it is interesting where will be the butterfly 1618 target. Maybe it agrees with the 618, 17 even. So slightly above the 1650. But first, let's take a look at uh, 1760. Which will be ruin 1750. It's 127 extension right there. So that's approximately what we have for now. Bitcoin. Let's see how it will turn.